All right, so many of you were missing the first blog post for our class blog. So we got to fix that. That that can't happen. Um, everybody's going to be responsible for writing on this blog and publishing post. I will give you ideas from time to time of what to post, um, but some of you are a little confused about how to post and things like that. So let's pretend that you didn't even sign up yet. So let me show you what I see. First thing I do is I invite you as a contributor to this blog. So I'm going to send you this invite code again. Um, you sign up, you go through the process. Please ask me and stop along the way if you don't understand how to accept this code. All right, so let's say you accepted the code, you're in there, you know how to be a contributor. Um, when you're on the site and you've signed in, please remember your password and your username. You would hit new post and you give it a title. If you want to add media, just about anything, pictures, um, if you have HTML code, this is where you paste that. Let's say you have a YouTube video. YouTube, this is a really good short film. Um, grab an HTML code. I'll do that right, right here, right now. Okay, there it is. Grab the code, copied it. Um, where is that? There. Now my YouTube video is going to be in there. Um, also pictures. You can upload uh, picture files. Here's one that's already in there. And so all of your posts need to have text. Now the thing is, if you're going to publish something online, you need to make sure that it's spelled correctly, the grammar is okay. Um, use you have to draft things out you have to use the writing process brainstorm um, draft things out edit revise and please ask me for help along the way editing means you change uh, the punctuation you change the spelling revising means you change word choices you change sentence structure um, it, it makes sure that it reads easier so those are the difference between editing and revising so once you have um, your your things inside your post, you have to make sure that you tag it. Tagging uh, allows easier finding of different posts because there's going to be a lot of posts on here. And the other thing you need to do is put your category on here. Do not leave it uh, general information. I'm going to label this under the category of technology because this makes the most sense and you're also going to be doing some writing so that also makes sense. All right and when you're ready to publish you're going to hit submit for review. Since I'm the owner of this blog I'm going to hit publish. Oh I don't know if you guys have these features or not don't worry about this one yet but this one's kind of cool in case you want to add a document to your post. So that's actually kind of a neat thing to do too. All right, hit publish, and I will submit for review. On my dashboard, I get a signal that there are uh, pending posts ready for me to review and check out. So not only are you going to be graded on do you have a post, do you have a tag, do you have it under the right category, is it spelled correctly, is it interesting, you know, you just got to do it, you got to try. And but once you're done, the most important thing is you got to turn it in. And that's when you copy the URL up here and then you submit that into the assignment place in Canvas. That's appropriate. And that's how I know you did the post. That's it. Okay. Please watch this again and ask me questions. Thanks.